So, how is it going, everyone? Wayne the Unknown here, and welcome back to another episode of Geeking Out. We basically discuss everything nerdy geek related. Tonight, we uh, this uh, podcast is more of a filler episode. I wanted to get this one out before the movie comes out. Uh, nothing is getting scripted, as I always said, as you know. As I always say, this is the scripts, but. Yeah. Anyway, I'm joined here by Potato King, Ultimate Sorry. Phantom, and also a new face. I'm joined here by Potato King's friend Joshua. Hi, how's it going? It's going really well. So, as you can see, there's quite a bit of the theme. We are going to be talking about the Super Mario Brothers movie that's coming out. Oh, jeez. <laughs> and then in, in form, or by the time this is out, it'll at least be two to three days by, when this movie comes out. But we are going to be giving our thoughts on the Super Mario Brothers movie 2023, which also, uh, it's been a total of 30 years since we had a Mario Brothers movie. And if anyone remembers this Super Mario Brothers movie from the 90s, yeah. <laughs> oh. This is definitely. Yeah. I mean, I'm not. I'm not hating on the original, but this is definitely more closer to the so source material. Anyway, I'm getting ahead of myself. Um, I will go around. Uh, Joshua, since you are new here, um, what were your thoughts when you heard that they were going to be making a animated Mario Brothers movie? Oh. Well, uh, to be honest, is I was quite uh, surprised about it. The I mean, because like after or after um um the uh, the uh, where did we go? On the nineties mo movie, um, um, I'm a s so sort of crashed and burned. Like, like, but I, I didn't really think the, the, the they would try it again. Oh yeah, no, it, it's again. It's been over thirty years, and I remember hearing about hearing about it myself. Like, oh. And I was like, when I saw who it was gonna be by, it's like it's it was by gonna be by the people who did movies like Minions and uh, Illumination. It was like okay, a little a little iffy, but we'll, we'll see. Uh, yeah, well, well, uh, well, if <laughs> from around the trailers though, I like, it looked amazing, you know. Oh yeah, no, the trailers. I mean, the, the trailer has the trailer had me sold, and then seeing that uh, seeing the quick little like uh, two minute clip of when Toad brings Mario to the Mushroom Kingdom, you see all the Easter eggs. You hear the Super Mario Brothers theme song play in the background. It, it's like okay, all right, this 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 could be interesting. Not gonna lie. Um, Elsa, what yes. were your thoughts when you saw when you heard that they were going to be making a, a Super Mario Brothers movie, animated well, movie, I should say? Oh, <laughs> it's okay. I was actually pretty surprised because um, I've heard really bad reviews of the old one, so I'm excited to see what's in store and also how Brad Pitt, Brad Pitt is going to revive it. <laughs> Chris Pratt. <laughs> yeah, Chris Pratt. Yeah. <laughs> well, revive his role as the Mario because that was a big controversy because we don't get it's me, a Mario, etc. So yeah, well, I'm excited to see what comes out of the whole movie, especially Peach because she doesn't look like a damsel in distress like the games. She looks mm -hmm. like she's ready to fight, which I'm I'm hyped for that. I'm all about it. Oh I, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, the, the, that um, that uh, kind of kind of um, reminds me of how she was in as as 
on the 90s cartoon show. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, um, and she's also voiced by Anya Joy Taylor as well. So if you're familiar with her, she's been in uh, The New Mutants. Uh, she was recently in the movie, uh, that horror movie, The Menu. So... Seeing well, her let's... play as Princess Peach is going to be interesting. Yes, I agree with that. That's the one thing I'm excited to say, and I will be showing a clip right after I talk about this, that we have Jack Black voicing Bowser. I know I fangirled so hard. When we saw the trailer in the theater, I was like, oh my god. And my, my partner's like, what, babe? I'm like, it's Jack Black. And I like fangirled really hard and the person next to us kind of gave us a look like I was crazy. <laughs> do you yield? <laughs> I do not. Do you yield? <laughs> I do not. Especially how uh, that one time, um, I, it was on a t British TV show where he showed up in a whole Bowser outfit. I know he's committed to every role he's in. He's going to exceed and go beyond. So I. Oh, yeah, I no. Oh, oh, definitely. I mean, seeing, seeing, I remember actually watching that clip on TikTok, seeing how Jack Black was told, yeah, everyone else is going to dress up and there's only Jack Black <laughs> comes out in like this, this, this store-bought Bowser onesie, which he, I would love, which I would love to own that. I would love to own that Bowser onesie. Amazon, baby. <laughs> I will keep that in mind if I just want to do it for the shits and giggles. Um, <laughs> Titus. Uh, your thoughts when you first uh, heard that uh, they were making a anim uh, CG? I'm going to call it animated because that's what it is. Modern animated. Uh, what did you? What were your thoughts when you first heard that they were going to be turning, uh, making uh, another Mario movie, but animated this time? A fan girl. <laughs> Quite literally, I was so excited, like to a point where I was trying to figure out who was playing who. Um, of course, Anya as Princess Peach is actually absolutely, like, perfect for her. Um, and got to see just who they chose for their cast made me even more excited. But there are some things I know I might be a little disappointed in just by watching the trailer. Because, I mean, we're, I I'm going to be a little bit of that person here. Mario's booty is not shaped he, he, like it he, did, bro. He, 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 doesn't, he doesn't have that, <laughs> that, that dump truck. Uh, uh, that's that's my little pet peeve. But between, I'm his I'm his boot, his, his, boot, his booty's uh, flatter than that one part of Rainbow Road. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay. Okay. Yes. Why the heck are we talking about his butt? Really? <laughs> I know. The thing the thing you'll the thing you'll learn about uh, these geeking out podcasts, Josh. Uh, I, I kind of let the uh, I kind of uh, give a little free range to people being unfiltered. <laughs> It's, it's just, just, I, 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 I just I just let some slack out for people to be them just to you know yeah I'm just I'm just glad that they're going to be doing a lot with this movie because I mean my dad grew up with Super Mario we grew up with Super Mario I've seen all the TV shows the original movie where they had instead of having like all the fun little quirky things they had uh dinosaurs <laughs> and like yoshi was literally a raptor yep mm -hmm. and, the the go and the and the goombas looked like they had big bodies and tiny lizard heads yes yes yeah. and oh my gosh it was like it, it flame throwers. we got the flamethrowers all that stuff like i i'm just i'm excited to see something where it actually goes with the Mario series. Oh yeah, no. Um, uh, now, wait, what? Who said what now? Uh, <laughs> that was me. I was gonna say, I am going to probably be that person because I really love Bob Hoskins. He is actually uh, one of my favorite actors back in the day. So I might be. I might be that person going, mm, Chris, are you sure you're going to do this right, bro? No, Mushroom I'm... Kingdom, here we come. <laughs> I'm going to be that person. I'm just going to be that person. All right. That's all. Uh, now, there's one thing that kind of crossed my mind, and <laughs> anyone can jump in on this. 
Um, who here remembers seeing the um, Ratchet and Clank movie that came out a few years ago? Yep. Yep, I've seen it. No, I haven't. Mm-hmm. Child, we are watching no, I haven't. Josh, we are watching it. So, Titus, then, you may be able to answer my question. Do you uh, Do you think that they may make a game based off this movie, just like how they did with Ratchet and Clank? How they how the Russian Clank movie was just basically a remake of the first game, and then shortly after they came out with a game based on the movie, which was based on the first game. I think depending on how the um, how it goes in the box office will determine on if Nintendo is actually going to feel it is going to be worth putting as a movie, because that is how they're going. They that's how they're going to be doing things. They all have a budget for something. So if it becomes as popular as the Russian Clank became popular, and then they did their second game, I think it's going to end up happening anyways, because Mario is just, you know, it's Mario. Oh, you you know Nintendo is going to make money off this no matter what. Yeah. Even 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 like the, even though the Russian Clank movie did do so well, it got a, it got a game based off, again, based off that movie, which is just basically a remake of the first game. Um, I, I, I think there's going to be a game based off this movie because, you know, it'd be, it'd be cool to have a, a Mario game where you're, you most likely will not, from what I'm seeing, if they do make a game based off this movie, you may get to, uh, you may get to play as the characters like Mario, Peach, Toad, Toadstool, uh, Luigi, uh, Donkey Kong, you know. I want to be Donkey Kong. I, I'm, I'm just saying, I feel like there's going to be a, a game based off this movie. Um, but we won't know until, you know, depending on how the movie goes and whatnot. Yeah, we have to see how big it is in the box office because they're not just looking at the U.S. They're going to be looking at Japan and China well, and the U.K. Well, they're going to look how big it gets. So. Depending on what country wants to release it because not every country, you know, may not want to release it. Anyway, going a little off track here. Um, so, uh, Josh, when you first saw the trailer... What were your thoughts? Well, um, and I saw the trailer. Well, my jaw absolutely dropped. Like, 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 I mean, as a kid, like, I I have seen a good chunk of an Illumination movie. And they looked fine in but uh, but, but, but like it, but like <laughs> I'm the Disney in DreamWorks movie is the the ace played it safe um the, 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 oh the C like it, the the the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the uh, visual was to be and to be so so detailed Held. Um, I like um, like it just it gave me a lot of 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 hope for the movie. The biggest, 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 um, um, biggest, biggest. Now they're they're um they're um they're they're, they're actually trying to make a good movie. Oh yeah, no. And uh, honestly, Illumination has not disappointed with their movies. Again, they're they're mostly known for Minions and everything, but uh, I, I feel like Illumination has not disappointed at all with their films as of late. Not mm-hmm. that I can think of, at least. Um, Elsa, what were your thoughts when you saw the trailer, the first trailer released for the uh, Super Mario Brothers movie? I will admit, I was when I first saw it on my phone. I was a bit like taken back because of the boy, uh, 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 Chris, Chris Pratt. Yes, just making sure. Saying "Let's go" and like, excuse you, who are you? Oh yeah, no, he, he said yeah, Mushroom Kingdom, Mushroom Kingdom, here we right? come. Mushroom Kingdom, here we come. With it the was like, like, um, how is this gonna play out? Until I heard Bowser's voice, I'm like. Ooh, yeah, when we got the second trailer. No, wait. It, wasn't it the first? Third? Yeah, it was the first. I was thinking no. of like the, the I was thinking of the teaser clip. 
but yeah, yeah. I, then, then we got when we got the second trailer when it showed Bowser and everything. Yes, and uh, I'm pretty excited because I've seen a couple of ele- elements from games and uh, like the Rainbow Road, as well as English, as well as other elements like that. It's we- a repeat of the Evil Dead podcast all over again. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Leave me alone. Anyways, <laughs> if you haven't seen the podcast, go check it out. It's hilarious promoting the videos because, yeah, this is what happens to me. But, and you made me lose my train of thought, but that's okay. You were you're talking about how uh, we were talking about the trailer and how yeah, you no, no, liked, no, no. You, uh, I, how you you were talking about the elements that they brought from like each game to the movie. Yeah, and I'm so excited because this will be the first time we're going to see Peach's Castle fully restored since Mario sixty four. Yep. Uh, it's it's been in other games, but Peach's, Ca- Peach's Castle officially full version. We didn't get to see Tell Mario sixty four for the Nintendo sixty four. Mm-hmm. And this, and also excited to see. Uh, honestly, I'm so hyped for this part because Donkey Kong holds a a huge place in my heart where he gets to beat up Mario. So I'm hyped <laughs> <for that. laughs> yes, yes, the, the, uh, the, the I, I call it this, uh, from what, is, from what I saw, it, it, that, uh, that arena they're fighting on reminded me of uh, Super Smash Bros. Yep. And just <laughs> the scene where, cause I'm going to, again, I'm going to show in trailers, uh, clips from the trailers when Mario jumps up to try to, um, attack <laughs> Donkey Kong, Donkey Kong just, Bitch slaps him to the ground and just starts <laughs> wailing on him. Yes, so awesome. It reminds me of that Donkey Kong game that came out. Uh, the, it was a sequel to Donkey Konga where you actually got to control uh, Donkey Kong with the the drum beat things. You oh! also and you, and you got and you got to fight. Uh, you got to fight. Oh. Uh, oh. <laughs> Jungle beat. Thank you. Yep, yep. That that scene when Donkey Kong's just wailing on Mario, it reminded me of Donkey Kong's jungle beats. Like, uh-huh. yes, yes. <laughs> oh, I can't. I can't wait. And I'm hoping that this film, the stuff we see in the trailer, is actually shown in the film, and they don't pull a uh, Suicide Squad. Hopefully, yeah. Yeah, because like. You got, you, you, come on, you gotta show the tree, you gotta show the clips. Um, Titus, uh, when you saw the trailer, uh, what were your thoughts when the trailer was first uh, shown? Mm. Mm. As, aside from, aside from, uh, you know, Mario's flat. Uh... <laughs> His flat booty. <laughs> I actually was super, super excited. Um, like I said, I'm a big Mario fan. I grew up with it. That was my go-to. And, you know, watching the classics and playing all the games, as soon as I saw it, it was like, no way. And we saw the first trailer in movies, in the movie theater. So I got to see the little mini clip with Bowser. And Bowser's my homeboy. He's my favorite. And Toad is my most favorite. So it was just... I just got super excited. I stimmed so bad. (laughs) So, yeah. Yeah, I just... I was so, like, intrigued by it because they really showed the concept of what we would be seeing if the games actually got into more detail like that. Oh, no, I I wholeheartedly agree. Uh, And you said Toad is your favorite character? Yes, I always choose Toad. It doesn't matter. It's either I choose Princess Daisy, Bowser, or Toad. Uh, But always Toad. And when I saw Toad come out of nowhere in the mushrooms going, no, don't touch that. And you're like, oh, Toad, you're such a troll. Do not touch that mushroom, you'll die! Oh, I'm sorry. (laughs) That one's perfectly fine. He's He's voiced by Keegan, Keegan, Keegan Michael Key. Yes, and I love him as an actor and a voice actor. He is absolutely and amazing. I'm actually looking at it right now. Um, yeah, Keegan Michael Key is a voice of Toad in the Super Mario Brothers movie, and Tomokazu Saki is the Japanese voice for uh, Toad. Mm-hmm. They're both amazing voice actors um, and actors in general. Um, he played in 
Wendell and Wild. He was also in Can You? Um, so he's known for anime voices too and video game. Yeah, he's done. He's done a lot. Like he's absolutely amazing. I, I, the one thing I do like about Toad's look is um, his backpack. Look, like looking at Toad, it reminds me of that Toad game that came out for the, the Switch. Uh, Toad's, uh, oh, what's the name of it called? Captain Toad. Yeah, yeah, uh, yes, that one where you're like uh, doing exploration and everything. And the thing is, Keegan Michael Key. I like how he can change his voice because. When I first heard Toad's voice, like, who is that? When I, and then when I saw who it was, like, that sounds nothing like Keegan. Like, the fact that he can just, like, change his voice to sound like that is awesome. Absolutely love that he could do that. That's the best thing about voice actors is if it wasn't for that, I am a big fan of Blackjack. Um, Jack Black. Oh, my God, Blackjack. Wow. Oh, you're, pull, you're, pulling it, you're, pull, you're pulling it. You're pulling it. You're pulling it. You're uh, you're pulling an Elsa now. Right? If it wasn't for the fact that I'm a big fan of his, like, not even my partner realized who it was until I was like, oh, my God, it's Jack Black. Because they do so well on their voices and changing them and trying to get the character down. It's just voice actors are, like, amazing. Oh, yeah, no. Uh, I'm looking at Tomo Kazu Sake. I'm just curious who what he's voiced in. Uh, Tomo Kazu Sake, uh, Yokai Watch, Doraemon, Full Metal Panic, Psycho Pass, Full Metal Panic. Yeah, a lot of anime. Yes. Um, if you guys haven't seen Full Metal Panic, watch it. It is hilarious and funny. Um, he does one of my favorite characters. Oh, he's also a singer too. Yes. Yes. Oh, I'm hoping when this comes, when the, this eventually comes out on DVD, that like one of the audio selections is Japanese. Um, they normally will do that when they come out on DVD. Um, it's I I know they do English, Japanese, Chinese, and one more. Uh, or Spanish. They'll do it yeah. in Spanish too. Nice. Oh uh, yeah, Gilgamesh, Lucy Rob, Kyo so Kyo from Fruits Basket? Yes, yes, yes. Yes, he does. What? Okay, that got that got that gets that got he me. He also okay. he also does Rob from um the One Piece. He's Yep, Lucy Rob, Rob Ich Ichiro yep. Miyata and uh, Shinya Kugame. And he plays Panda in Jujutsu Kaisen, and he's absolutely one of my favorite VAs because he also does oh. um, Sanami from Demon Slayer. Oh, that, okay, so. that like that the guy has range. I, I'm looking forward to that now. He that has is... talent. If you guys have not heard him as a voice actor, just oh, really, and I, I, really pay attention. He's amazing. Yeah, I'm um, speaking. Oh, go ahead, uh, go ahead, Josh. Sorry. Well, uh, well, it's, 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 I mean, honestly, like, it, I don't watch a, watch a lot of anime. It's so, like, it, so I just stuff it, and then the Adam, the, 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 the guys are talking about out was just like. Mostly in gibberish to me. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. We'll get you into anime. I promise. You will be uh, so hooked to it. Anime. It won't We're be funny. Talk about that. Uh oh. Um. Back to you, Josh. Um. Who are you looking forward to seeing the most in this movie? Uh, well. Well. Um. Well. Um. Well. But I. But I. I. Uh, I uh, f would say Yoshi, but boy, like, but boy, like, but like, for, from the trailers, he, 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 he was, was, he was barely even shown. So like, like so, uh, so like, I'll have to go with um, um, um. Uh, oh geez, sorry. Uh, it's okay. 
Luigi. Nice, got to represent. And his voice actor is, I can't remember the, his name, but he plays in Always Sunny in Philadelphia. Oh, it's Charlie Day. Charlie Day, yeah. Like, see, when I saw, uh, when I saw the, this other trailer where Bowser's interrogating Luigi, I was like, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm for that. Charlie Day is trying to, do, to be, to do, to do his, his take on Luigi, and it works. Um, and we, and then in the trailer, um, we actually get uh, during. During one of the trailers, I can't remember. I have to look it up. Uh, we do see that we do see Yoshi's Island, where all those Yoshi are just like running right by the uh, right by the, uh, the 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 water. Well, yeah, but like it, but like it it doesn't in in look like the, the, they're going to be important to the a, a plot. Uh, which is a real shame. I mean, because well. Y I mean, because um, uh, 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 as yo Yoshi, e well, 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 I'm the main Yoshi. E anyway, it, it, it is my favorite Mario o character by e far. Um, Elsa, who are you looking forward to seeing the most in this movie? Okay, I had to Google who was in it because. You know, because I was curious because I heard we, we, uh, we allow we allow cheat codes on here. Obviously, uh, the Penguin King, who's going to be played by, correct me if I'm wrong, Kara Payton. I, oh, Ky uh, Kyrie uh, Kyrie Pat, who played as Ezekiel in uh, The Walking Dead, and is also the voice of Cyborg in Teen Titans. Yes, correct. And, so uh, we are getting some we are getting some well known voice actors who, you know, who are who are mostly known for voice acting and. Second known for physical acting, and also Charles um, Mar. I'm, I'm horrible with names. Charles Martinet. He's gonna be in there. He's gonna have a little cameo. Yep, I remember online seeing mixed things like he's gonna do some random voice. Some people are saying he's gonna be voicing Mario and Luigi's dad. Well, so, we'll see. We'll see, but I'm glad that you know they brought him in. Um, I remember when the trailer first came out, people were not happy. Like, well, why isn't Charles voicing, like, do you honestly think I would want to go an hour and a half listening to that version of Mario's voice? No disrespect uh, to Charles Martinet, but he voiced video game Mario. If you want to go all the way back, Peter Cullens, who voiced Optimus Prime, he was the very, very, very first voice actor to voice Mario, and Mario didn't even look like Mario when he uh, did an animated version of Mario's voice. Uh, yep. Look up, uh, for anyone who's on their computer or phone, look up uh, let me pull it up real fast. Look up uh, come on, YouTube? No, internet? <laughs> I'm not on YouTube yet. Look up Peter Cullen's Mario. Peter <laughs> Cullen's Mario. It'll show. Uh, so one of the picture. Uh, so it'll say like, uh, if depending on where you're, I'm on, I'm using uh, Microsoft Bing. But if you look at the Mario, the way Mario look, he'll have that the curled the curled mustache, and his hat looks like a flat cap. Uh, I'm on Google. It doesn't show uh, Peter Collins Mario. Did it shows his face. Oh, you, did, you looked at Peter Cullen Mario? Okay, well, um, I will show you all then real fast. Yes, please. Wait a minute. Oh, gosh. I think I see it. And Oh, the cartoon version. Yep. That was <laughs> that is That is the first animated Mario. And that's when we discovered Toad actually wears a hat. Nope. Uh, you're thinking of the Super Mario oh. Brothers Super Show. Oh. Close which enough. Came out, which came out uh, a few years later. I didn't even know about that one. Oh, yeah. Uh, I'll send uh, TJ the photo of uh, Toad taking off the hat. Yep. Um, 
but, but yeah, uh, the Super Mario Brothers Super Show is 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 more well known. Uh, also, I'm excited for Kevin Michaels Richards as the the wizard guy. Oh yeah, uh, bu- 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 he played Principal Lewis in American Dad. And... Oh, I, I'm familiar with Kevin oh. Michael Richardson. I mean, the guy voiced Joker, and he also voiced. Um, uh... Oh. <laughs> he also was in Halo as well. Oh yeah. Uh, oh, Tara, Tara. Magic. Uh, yeah, ma- uh, the uh, Magic Koopa. Yep. Is the name. And actually, and I have two more voice actors. Seth Rogen. Goro, he, vo- he voiced Goro in Mortal Kombat as well. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. So I'm also a fan. I'm also a fan of Seth Rogen because of um, some extracurriculum after wor- uh, work. But I am excited to see how he play- like plays out as Donkey Kong because I know Donkey Kong is big and uh, strong, but at the same time he has that little stupidity sti- stupidity in him. <laughs> mm-hmm. But yeah, last, no. oh, sorry, but Go last ahead, sorry. but not least, we're all. I know everyone in this chat is super hyped up for Jack Black's performance, and we haven't stopped talking about it. We need to have oh, a look yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yes. Um, Titus, real quick, because I forgot to ask, who are you looking forward to the most uh, for this movie to see? I actually am really looking forward for Pauline role. Pauline, Mario's original girlfriend. She is supposed to show up in the movie. It was confirmed. She is? Really? I really want to see if this is... I I mean, of course, Jack Black all the way. But a lot of people have been talking about it. And they already announced that she will be having a cameo in the Mario movie. I don't know if it's going to be during the Rainbow Road scene or if there's going to be, like, she's going to be in there. Just, like, there's going to be tons of Easter egg characters. She is, like, one of the ones I am really excited to see and see what they do with her role. Um, Just because, you know, it's Pauline. Why not? And Um, if a lot, I know a lot of people don't know who she is, but, you know, I do. She's amazing. She's gorgeous. Yep. I do, too. Because, uh, what's the name? Matt Pat did a video on him, and I'm like, that's how I found out. Yes. Nice. Um, so, uh, I actually just recently watched on uh, TikTok, they showed another a Mar- a Super Mario Brothers movie TV spot. During that scene, um, Luigi's phone is ringing, and his ringtone is the, in the Nintendo GameCube startup. Yes. It hits home so much. Oh, that's cool. Mm-hmm. Um, and, I'm sorry, go ahead, Wayne. Uh, also one more thing. Uh, when they showed that Super Mario, the, uh, Mario and Luigi's, uh, plumbing business, which was a, which was a take on the Super Mario Brothers Super Show, because that song was playing, the, uh, gal who was voicing that customer, the quote-unquote customer, that is Peach's, uh, voice actor from the Super Mario Brothers Super Show animated series. I, yeah, yeah I heard about that, Yeah. I know about that one too, thanks to TikTok, and I'm so excited that you brought it up because, like, it just, it just like felt like an like a reawakening of a childhood, like an unforgotten. And also, I subscribe to the, uh, to them. Yeah. Well, from what I've been hearing lately with this Mario movie, they are going to show some really classic characters, even down to where before Mario was a plumber. Um, what was his name? Something. Jumpman. Like, yeah, there's Jumpman, and then Spike something is supposed to show up. Hmm. Oh my god, what is his name? Um, Whose name? I think in the... Well, I think he's just called Spike. I think it is. But we're supposed to get some really good old cameos of characters that had been in, like, before, you know, Mario was Mario and kind of just go across. Yep, there. yep. His name is Spike. Is he, like, uh, green with white, white lips and blue hair? Yeah. Yep, it, his, his name is Spike. Yeah, he's supposed to be voiced by um, a comedian, but I don't remember uh, which person it is, but I'm, I'm actually just, in general, really excited to see um, 
all these original rivals and characters showing up in this movie, which I hope they do. So, oh yeah, but mostly Pauline because she's my girl. So anyone can answer that. Anyone can uh, jump in on this. I'm sure you all recently seen like the TikTok and the short clip of uh, how Seth. And this is no disrespect to Seth Rogen at all whatsoever. I think he was the perfect choice for uh, Donkey Kong. Who here has seen this quick little interview on how he said that he's not gonna do he's not gonna do any voices. It's just gonna be his voice. If you want to, if you want me in this film, I'm just gonna use my regular voice. Has anyone seen that short clip on TikTok? Recently? Yeah, no. I have. Yeah. I actually but, think like. If a voice actor's voice, like their normal voice is perfect for a character and it works, I see no problem in it at all. And hearing Donkey Kong already from the trailers and some of the other things, his voice is perfect, in my opinion. Oh, yeah, no. We haven't had an actor voice Donkey Kong since Donkey Kong Country TV show back in the 90s on uh, Fox Kids. Yep. Show my age so... There. I, I know, like, a lot of people are putting hate, saying that he was being lazy and all this other stuff. Like, I've seen all the comments about it. But how many voice actors out there use their normal voice? Like, um, oh, gosh. Um, the girl who does Belle in the movie Belle, she mm -hmm. used her actual voice. She didn't change her voice at all. That is her actual singing voice. That is her actual voice. Everything to her, and it made the character perfect. So... That's my opinion oh, on that. No, I mean, and, and the thing is, and this is no disrespect to any voice actors out there. It, it's 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 known for movies like this. Like, yeah, you'll have you'll hire a few voice actors here and there, like the whatever, like everyone uh, everyone's familiar with. But then you want this movie to sell, so what are you gonna do? You're gonna hire, you know, you're gonna hire actor actors who are mm -hmm. more known for like, you know, being uh, being in front of the camera instead of being behind the mic. Mm -hmm. That that's what's going to make this movie sell. It's like, and I'm sure, yeah, like again, they picked a few voice actors: Kyrie Patton, uh, Kevin Michael Richardson, Chris Martinet, and you know whoever else. But like, selling like, am I? I feel like the big the big main actors. Are you fighting with your computer or something? I keep on hearing a bunch of like throwing of objects. <laughs> <laughs> um. I'm eating chocolate-covered blueberries. Don't judge me. I'm not judging. I'm just. I'm, just, I'm, just, I'm, only gonna I'm the only judge that I'm going to do is why you're not sharing. I mean, they're expensive. They're Brookside Dark chocolate blueberries. Ooh, uh, can yeah. I get one? You just you just see Titus coming into your room, just chuck one at you. Oh, what's that? Oh god. Oh god. Please, Chuck, 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 Chuck. Oh, come on. Come on. Just, you just <laughs> be like Chuck from oh, Be like Chuck from Mario, the football guy. Oh, God. That'd be pretty... Um, so, um... These are good. Back to you, Josh. Um, what was your favorite part about the trailer? Like, what was your... What's, what's your favorite scene from the trailer that you liked? Um... Huh... That, 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 that is a tough one, but um, but um, but 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 I'll have to say uh, when uh, um, in Bowser's I'm in vain, the Penguin Kingdom. Yes. Um. Mm, 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 I, but, but I. But I like it's so like. I like it's a meme on the air and at at um already. Do do you yield? <laughs> I do not. <laughs> oh, that's such a good line. It is. In just seeing how they made like, I remember people were comparing uh. When um, when Bowser says "I do not," they're comparing that face to Jack Black's actual like face when he makes that same facial expression, and they, it almost kind of looks the same. It so does. like Jack Black was born for this role. I mean, this is gonna be this is the second time. Well, this will be the first. This, well, depending on when that comes out, 
uh, this Jack Black has done. Um, this is the second time voicing a uh, will be a second time voicing a video game character got turned into a movie because whenever they it, whenever what's his name decides to release it, he's gonna be voicing Claptrap in a live action Borderlands movie. Yes, yes, I know. Whenever Actually, what whenever what that what's the guy's name decides to um, you know release it. Do it. I'm already looking up at time for movies. I'm sorry. I will oh, no, say I, if you guys get the Mario um, the Bowser Lego building set, it looks exactly <laughs> like the movie. And now looking at it because it's sitting here in my living room. It literally kind of looks like Jack Black just sitting at my on my TV stand. Uh, I'm kind of I'm kind of curious when this movie comes out if the movies are going to do like special things, special buckets where like um, the popcorn thing is like a question box. They will be they will be doing that in select theaters just like they did with the D and D like AMC with D, is with doing D, with with the D twenty. Yep, it just depends on what theater they're going. You're going to. Okay. Well, I. Sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, so go ahead. Go I was, ahead. Like I said, I was looking up movie times because I do want to go see it. There's an opening cap English and sub, so I think they're doing it in Japan, uh, a little bit in Japanese. Um, I don't know if you all can see. It. Hang on, making moving it here. Going to fit into the screen. There we go. Don't oh, mind I mean, the open captioning is for people who are hard of hearing. Oh. Mm hmm. They only have one showing for that, which is sad. Sorry, no, it, it's, it, it's because a whole like it's mainly it's probably due to you know it's other people who have or who are hard of hearing or can't hear at all, which is totally understandable why they would have another version of that. Um, Elsa, uh, oh, I was about to say, but at the same time, you should add more times instead of just one time slot per, per day. It it depends, you know. Um, um, what was your favorite? What was your favorite scene uh, from the trailers? The, the multiple trailers that so the multiple trailers that we got. Well, obviously, it's the one where Mario gets beat up. <laughs> we just basically get his gets a shit rocked by Donkey Kong. Like, literally. Or and also, um, like when you see Peach. When she touches the flower and her dress completely turns into Ooh. the yes, into from, from, the, they they pulled that they pulled that from the game too. Yes, which I'm so excited about, as well as her racing outfit. I think I'm more excited to, uh, of Peach than the, everyone else, to be honest. So those are like my favorite scenes, and also the Penguin Kingdom. And, uh, yes, uh, that that's gonna be. I have a feeling that is going to be the, the very first scene that we get to see. I am so excited for it. I'm just, like, ready to go. Uh, you know. Oh, yeah. Um, Titus, favorite scene from the trailers? <laughs> or scenes, <laughs> I should say. I think my favorite scene is when Toad pops out of nowhere and is like, Don't touch that! Oh no, this one's good. This one's nice. <laughs> that's like that, 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 that's that. I think that's a callback to the uh, to the death mushroom from uh, Super Mario uh, Super Mario for the uh, NES. Yes, and it it's just the way that he like does it, and he just pops out of nowhere, and you're like, oh shit, what's going on? And then he has this big old happy grin on his face, and he's petting the mushrooms. Like, oh, this mm -hmm. one's really good. It just, it's like my favorite part because it just shows how trollish Toad is because that's his character. Hmm. Oh yeah, no. I, I, I like what they did with this. Um, I guess I'll go, well, some of my favorite scenes, of course, was the, was the Rainbow Road scene where they're all like getting ready to go to battle on Rainbow Road. Um, the other, is from, it was from one of the trailers. It's when Peach, Toad, and uh, Mario are on that bridge, and Mario gets basically attacked by a cheap cheap. Oh yes, I like that one too. Oh, and also, I laughed when I saw it. It's when um, when Mario hits the question the, the box, and he gets the cat suit, and Donkey Kong <laughs> just just roasts him like, "Ha ah, ha, you got the cat suit." 
I, they're bringing out a lot of stuff from the games. They are. They're. Um, this is why I'm like really excited about it. Plus, the Nintendo actually is. You know, Illumination has Nintendo's backing on this. Uh, unlike you know the the uh, one from the uh, the nineties. Uh, God, who was the creator of Mario? Um. 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 She. Uh. Uh, um, I don't how uh, I don't know how to uh, 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 pronounce it, but, but, but uh, his last name is Miyamoto. Uh, it's Shigeru uh, Shigeru Miyamoto. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The, 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 yeah, uh, sh yeah, Shigeru uh, Miyam uh, Mi yeah, Miyamoto. That's yeah, yeah. Like he, like he's like giving his thumbs up, and I'm sure he's like telling them, "All right, you can do this, but you can't do that. You can't do that, but you can do this." Because I think he even remembers how bad the uh, the, the the '93 film was. Like, I don't yes. want a repeat of this. Let's have flamethrowers. Let's make Yoshi a, t a little raptor. <laughs> let's yeah, have, no, let's, no. let's make all the the, the Goombas look Neither. like. Have have big bodies and tiny little heads. You know, it really makes me question if they're going to bring in um, Dry Bowser into the movie. Who? So it's when Bowser basically Dry. is a skeleton. Oh, oh, um, oh, um, Skele Bowser. Yeah. I mean, the only re way he turns into ske uh, skeleton Bowser is when he gets knocked into the lava. It makes me. I, I kind of am kind of hoping they kind of bring a little bit of that in there too. We'll we'll see that that you know, the movie doesn't come out for a few until from yeah, words. Till what day? Uh, it comes out third. Well, it comes out on the fourth, so that's a Thursday. But where I live, they're going to show a day early, which I most likely am going to be seeing. Wait, no, it comes out. I gotta. No, I'm coming out um 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 on the fifth actually. Yeah, that's what I just said. <laughs> They're doing a um a pre showing on the fourth in select theaters. They'll um, be doing mostly... that. They'll be doing. They'll be doing that here for for a for sure. Yeah, they'll be doing it in mostly AMC theaters is where they're going to be doing a pre showing, and then all the other theaters will be um, showing it on the next day. They do like a midnight showing, something like that. Sometimes they don't do it here. They just do, uh, yeah. Cinemark Tinsel. I'm looking at the, yeah, Wednesday, April fifth. All right, I'm gonna be seeing that. Oh, and it's also gonna be oh, okay. So, um, my the theater I have, they also have 3D screens. They're also gonna be doing uh, showing it in 3D. Oh God. They're doing Watch it in out. 3D and um, RMX. Watching. Over Watching here. Bowser's flames in 3D would be kind of cool, but the thing with the thing with three, uh, 3D showings, it's going to cost just a little bit more. But it's I, worth it. I uh, yeah, yeah, my, uh, yeah, my well, eyes couldn't my eyes couldn't take that. I'm sorry, that's just too. Much. Yeah, yeah, well, I don't really care for or or um a reading movie. to be honest. We'll see. I know my movie theater also, when a movie comes out, uh, they also sell shirts and they have them giant pop-out posters they can take pictures next to. I'm going to have to probably go to the mall and buy a new Mario shirt because I want to wear a <laughs> Mario shirt when I see this. Because I would, like, I would wear this one, but it's got a hole in the armpit. That's what you get. That's what I get for buying a uh, uh, shirt from GameStop that's mass-produced. And, you know... Just didn't have a, you know, I don't pay attention when it comes to washing that. Cough, cough, um, <laughs> um, but yeah, no, I'm looking forward to the Mario movie. Um, I guess, uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Josh, uh, things you may not be looking forward to about this movie. Oh. <laughs> Who I'm not looking for or to well um well it, well it, if I had to choose 
choose anything in It'd be Chris Pratt's ad, ads, ads voice as Mario. But, I mean, because he sounds out, out, outs, sounds nothing like Mario. That's that's fair. I mean, if uh, if you look up, if if you, any of you get the chance, go on you. And this is for anyone, because Charles Martinet. He's known for the video game voice of Mario. Uh, if you look at, if you go on YouTube and look at Peter Cullen's Mario voice, it sounds nothing like Mario. Like Mario didn't have a, you know, a legit voice until Chris Martinet, who's been doing it for almost for over. <laughs> Charles Martinet's been doing it for over thirty years, but when Peter Cullen did it. It sounded nothing like Mario because Mario didn't have a set voice. Uh, from well, from yeah, his animated. True, true. I mean, like, um. But I um, get where you're coming from. I, I, I get where you're coming from about Chris Pratt not even seem like to, to be trying about for Mario. I get it. But I mean, yeah, like, um, I mean, like the, the, the I mean, like, I'm not trying to hate, hate um. Um, like, 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 it, it hey on Chris Pratt or anything, like, 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 but I, but I, but I think he is an amazing actor, but like, it, but like, but I never thought that he would voice East Mario of all, all people. Uh, I mean, he's, I think Chris Pratt doesn't do a whole lot of voice acting, he's more of a uh, in front of the camera actor uh, actor guardians of the uh, Gar uh, guardians of the galaxy a good example um like his voice he's like he's based like he's done a few voices here and there he's the only other time he's ever done like he's voiced a, a, a protagonist character is in the two lego movies as Emmett. oh, oh yeah mhm mm yeah so We'll see. Like he, he's. I get he's trying to embody the character, but again, you know, we'll see. You know, I mean, yeah, like, like, again, like, like, again, it's not a big deal or anything. I'm just a minor, minor, er, uh, but, but I can't. But I can't get my words out. Jeez. Um. Okay. Um. But I would just as. I'm a. It. Um. I'm a nitpick. That's fair. But, oh, it took me a long time to get that one out. Hey, it's, it's okay, man. Um, take all the time you need. Um, Elsa, what are you not looking forward to about this movie? And this is again, this is no, this is no disrespect. This is just personal opinion. All right, for personal opinion, I will have to go off of Joshua. I'm still iffy, but open to idea of Mario the voice because again, it's unfamiliar, but we gotta give him a chance first before we really harshly judge. <laughs> right, then, right. Yeah. Um, but I'm also not looking forward because at my movie theater, um, I have really bad luck because people will record, talk throughout the movie, or just be disrespectful, like, you know. Turn off your damn phone! Right? Like, <laughs> at Demon Slayer, these two girls, unfortunately, I found out one of them was my mutual. They were recording a bit of, a, bits of Demon Slayer, like, no, you can't. That's a big no no. Yeah, and I found out because they also posted it on TikTok. Like, isn't that like a fine for five thousand dollars plus jail time? At the, at the well, the um, thing is, movie. Th the thing about so that, it, I feel like movie theaters know when people do that, but you know, someone can easily just turn off their phone and say, "Oh, I didn't record," and legally, you know, uh, they can't ask you for your phone. 
So, oh no, they post it on social media. So like on TikTok. Everyone does that, sadly. Like you see people on TikTok do that, and nothing gets nothing gets done about it. TikTok doesn't care. <laughs> I, I hate to say it, but TikTok does not care you showing. Everyone does it, sadly nowadays, and there's nothing yeah. that can be done about it. If you're if you're showing a clip, that's one thing. But if you're recording the whole entire movie from your phone, okay, yeah, that's kind of it's kind of you know messed up. Just don't pull a Brenda from Scary Movie. Yeah, stealing the movie basically. Yeah. Um, Titus, same question. What are you not looking forward to about this movie? That's really hard to say because, like, I think I think the only thing I'm not looking forward to is it ending. Mm. The ending, like it ending in general, like just being over. Like you watch the whole oh. movie and you just you want more. That's the one thing that I think I'm gonna have a hard time with. Well, I mean, you guys can buy it on Blu-ray when it comes out like months after. But I like, mean, I mean, yeah. like, you know how like sometimes they do a cliffhanger for the second movie or for another movie. Oh, oh I guarantee this movie! I guarantee this movie! Yeah. I guarantee this movie's gonna have a post-credit scene. Yeah, and that's that's the one thing that I'm kind of like I just don't want it to end. And I know I don't want it to end, but then I know if there's going to be a scene where at the end where they're going to show the ending credit and they're going to have this huge other thing for the next movie, it's going to bother me because that's what they do with Marvel movies. And it bothers me every Marvel movie. Also, I just found an Easter egg. If you type in the Super Mario Bro movie on there and they show the showtime and there's a little box with a question mark, little block. If mm -hmm. you click on it, it will make the the, the block sound. Oh, so that's oh yeah, no. Um, it, when you uh, when you go uh, when you go on uh, Google and you type Mario Brothers, it makes the coin thing. Do 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 do. Yeah, I did that on my phone, and I just like for like a minute straight, I just kept on pressing the co the uh, the coin box. Like <laughs> I've been doing that for like the last twenty minutes. <laughs> so yeah, I'm just I mean, I'm I have to try that. Credit that's gonna get me. I feel like there is going to be a post credit scene. The only reason why I think that, and again, I could be wrong. This is just my this is just my speculation. During the trailer, when we see Luigi in the cage with all the other prisoners, we see that star, mm -hmm. um, which kind of makes me wonder if we're going to see Rosaline. Yes, okay. I hope so. Yes, I'm really, I really hope to see her. There's a lot of characters that I'm really hoping to see in this whole entire mm -hmm. series. So. Uh, well, uh, well, um, um, like, I don't know how to say this, but like, it, but I don't know how how sh how sh she'll be in the mo movie. It, but it's like, well, oh, uh, well, like, um, but I like, um, um, but. I mean, is it a power star or f for a Mario Galaxy? E e or is it just like I'm the star for a Mario 64? We well, don't know from again from what I've seen. It looks like the star from Super Mario Galaxy, but uh, again. We'll see. I'm. I have a feeling I could be wrong, and I will not be upset. Gar granted, though, I will be. I, I will be sitting through. The. I. I feel like I'm not gonna be the only one when I go to this movie. That after the credits are over, there's gonna be those few other people who are just gonna wait till the end to see if there's an ending credits. Me. So that that's been a thing as like as of re recently. So, we'll see. Um, so we're, we're going to be in this here, uh, real quick. So, uh, Josh, um, overall thoughts for the Super Mario Brothers movie. Oh, yeah. Um, I, I mean, well, like, I am a bit skeptical, oh, because, uh, I mean, as on the fact that well oh it's illumination and but uh but, but I'm like 
if Nintendo uh, oh oh is like ink, backing up the movie like like if they trust illumination the And I guess that, uh, that, that uh, we he should too. Hey, I mean, it's rare when a company, you know, the, of the you know the creator of the original IP backs up a movie. We don't or or a TV show. We don't see a whole lot of that. I mean, we're seeing a lot more of that nowadays. But hey, if it's got Nintendo's, if it's got if it, it I can't even speak. If it's got Nintendo's um, support. You know, I'm I'm all for it to give it a try. Uh, Elsa, same question. Um, overall thoughts for the Super Mario Brothers movie? Well, most of the, I'm very excited, just iffy, like I mentioned, but let's just wait and see what holds in store. Hopefully, like everybody has been mentioning, there is a little, like, a little action shot at the end. I'm, I already forgot the name of it to see if there's going to be a sequel or not. As well as hopefully, um, because uh, I know TJ always gets like the special popcorn, I get jealous of it. Like, I'm, I hope to get that too. So, <laughs> well, the, you know what I mean. Um, Titus, uh, last <laughs> but not least, um, overall thoughts for the Super Mario Brothers movie 2023? Overall, I think it will end up being an absolutely amazing movie. And it's going to bring out a lot more cosplays and stuff like that. Like me and Josh are working on making Yoshi and doing a full Yoshi mascot of that one. And I can't wait wait to see that. It's been a very fun project for us. We have the head and the body and we got a lot to finish up on it, hopefully to get it done by WasabiCon. Um, But I'm hoping... I hope you guys guys bring it to KomoriCon because I'm going to be going as uh, cosplaying as Luigi. Huh. Um, um, I don't own, I don't n- 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 know about that one. I will, I will send you guys all the information for you. Okay, Josh. And then that way you can go. That one's right here in Portland. But, um, yeah, I'm just excited overall to see this movie, to see the outcome of it, how many more cosplayers we're going to get. Um, <laughs> we're going to see a lot of, uh, I mean, I've already, I've been already seeing, People co- the movie hasn't even been out yet. I've been seeing people cosplay left and right. Yes, I'm ready to see more Bowser cosplays and definitely finishing up Yoshi with Josh because this is one of my biggest projects that I've done. And it has been an experience because it's like making a fursuit, but bigger. <laughs> so. Oh. Oh. That'd, be, that'd be cool to see. And of course, we're most likely to be seeing more of the Mario cat suit as well. Yes. So we'll see. Um, I think that should do it. Again, for those who are watching, this was more of a I kind of wanted to do this kind of episode. Um, usually I'll ask you all for your links, but with all, with your guys' permission, could I would I be able to post links to all your socials below? Of course. You're more than welcome to. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yes. I can send you um, Josh's if you don't have it. Oh yeah, he, I, he follows me on uh, Instagram, so I'll I'll be posting that his link okay. below. So yeah, I hope you all enjoyed this. You know, little sp- this bonus ep- this bonus uh, geeking out episode. Sorry for the rambling on my part. I am just like been busy with content posting so yeah and then um next uh, next month i'm going to be joined by some uh returning guests and and we're going to be talking about the uh super mario brothers movie from the 90s if you're all going to look forward to that anyway um i hope you all enjoyed this uh, special episode of geeking out as always, I'm Wayne the Unknown. Until next time, thank you for listening, and as always, thank you for watching.